The quiet village of Everwood was a charming place, where the days flowed like honey and the nights whispered with starlight. The few and humble inhabitants of this quaint townlet rarely had much in the way of visitors, no traveling tradesmen, certainly no circus, and nary even the stray tourist. Frankly, there was not much to see or do in Everwood. However, one week out of every year, on the 12th of September, there emerged a magical puppet show. The town, now alive with anticipation, would eagerly await the arrival of the showman. Little was known of the man behind it all, his identity was kept shrouded. Perhaps he believed this added realism to his show, or more simply, he could have been a private man. Draped in shadows and mystery, he would set up his creaky wooden stage in the heart of the village square. Excitement would buzz through the air as both children and adults gathered to witness the enchanting performance. The puppets were a marvel to behold, each one intricately carved and painted, with strings that danced like delicate spider silk in the cool September moonlight. The show itself was a symphony of color and movement, laughs, gasps, and tears, leaving the audience entranced. Every night brought forth a new performance, each with a rich and vibrant world. But for one child in particular, this show was more than just a fascination. Percival, an imaginative young boy with a mop of unruly hair and brown eyes wide with wonder, had always dreamed of being on stage to make people laugh and cry, just as these puppets had done for him. One night as the crowd was fading and the puppets had given their final bow, Percival lingered, his mind dancing with the possibilities of what he could do were he to be on that stage. That's when he noticed something peculiar. The puppets weren't slumped in a lifeless heap. They were watching, mimicking the actions of the departing audience. If someone waved, the puppet would wave back. Percy became fixated on one puppet in particular, an elegant marionette wearing a striped shirt with red mittens and a pair of polka-dotted trousers, its eyes black and sparkly reflecting the shimmer of the vast sea of stars in the cloudless sky above. Struck with a sudden wave of curiosity, Percival decided to experiment. He hopped on one foot, and to his amazement, the puppet sprung up and did the same. He waved, and the puppet waved back. He laughed, and the puppet joined with a silent wooden chuckle. Night after night, Percival returned to the puppet show, developing a peculiar bond with his chosen wooden companion. His laughter intertwined with the puppet's silent echoes. His movements became a dance with the marionette's graceful twirls. Over time, Percival's obsession deepened. He spent hours staring into the puppet's beady, black but lively eyes, feeling a connection that transcended the ordinary. As the days passed, the two became more alike. Unbeknownst to Percival, the puppet in turn had started to absorb more than just his actions. The marionette and Percival were now dressed to match. Its eyes had taken on a lighter shade, with a striking resemblance to that of Percival's eyes. When they danced, Percival's limbs began to stiffen. He moved with the same delicate precision, every step echoing the puppet's graceful twirls, the line between boy and puppet becoming blurred until you'd almost think this humble marionette was made in the image of Percy. Yet, struck with the wonder of being on stage, Percy did not notice he had begun to slip into a world of imagination. The colors and imagery of his performance were all Percy could see now. He was alive with the adoration, the cheer, and laughter that the crowd gave when he did his funny little dance. His moment had come, and he wanted more and more. But as the show ended and the crowd faded into the dark shadows of the quiet town, a haunting realization gripped Percy. He could not leave, as if he was bound to the stage with the enchanted strings of the puppets that had once captivated him. He began to panic as he desperately tried to break free with all of his might, screaming out for anyone to help him. But much like a nightmare in which you try to scream but cannot, Percy remained unheard, defeated, broken and forgotten. He sat on the old wooden stage, the last bit of his mind fading. The once charming and glassy black gaze with the marionette's eyes had now revealed a more sinister truth. Leaving a Percy in nothing but darkness, infinite darkness. He had become the puppet he had once adored, a, a silent participant in the perpetual dance of the enchanted puppet show. <laughs>